Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cody Beyer I'm Program Manager on the Visual Studio for Mac team here at Microsoft. Today I'm going to share the improvements that we've made to IntelliSense within Visual Studio for Mac using the new editor that came out in 8.1. So to get started we're going to look at the project we have here and I notice that I have one build error. That's too bad but let's see what that error is. By double clicking here I'm taken to this mock items list, and I see that I'm missing a definition for people. So I'm going to go into my items.cs. So now that I'm within items.cs, I know that I need to create a list, and the list needs to contain persons. So I'm going to move my caret into the class, type in public. Lit oh, and I see that I don't have a list within my completion window. Now, I don't necessarily remember the full import for this. If it's system.generic. I can't remember. So, what I'm going to do is enable a new feature in VS for Mac called Show Import Items. To do this, I'm going to open up the preferences and navigate to the IntelliSense section under Text Editor. By clicking on Show Import Items, I now have the ability to see the different namespaces that are available to me within .NET. So, let's go back and die, type in list again. So now, you can see that I have a full completion window of all the different libraries that I can call in, including system.collections.generic. So by clicking here, I have the import of system.collections.generic here, and I can create the list that I need. Perfect. I now have the list of persons available and I can build my project. But there are a few other features you may have noticed while I was typing in my list. All right, so that build succeeded and another bug squashed. But let's take a step back and see some of the other features that we had available to us in Visual Studio for Mac using our new IntelliSense engine. I'm going to delete what I added and I'm going to call the completion list up again. So again, type in public list. And here you can see that we now have some buttons down here that are new to Visual Studio for Mac. These allow you to filter the completion window by type. So for example, if you only want to see classes, you can click on classes. And this limits the completion list to only including types of classes. Furthermore, you can do this by enums, you can do this by delegates, or any other type filtering that you may need. Furthermore, this is possible by using keyboard shortcuts as well. So if I'm typing in list and I only want to see classes, I can say option C and limit this to only classes. When you combine the ability to filter your IntelliSense list, with the ability to include all the different types of imports available to you, you have a much more powerful approach to using IntelliSense in Visual Studio for Mac. In addition to these features, we also have much improved performance within the IntelliSense engine of Visual Studio for Mac. This means that not only can you have more powerful features, but also your completion list will populate quickly and your completion list will appear immediately. Today we learned about the improvements in IntelliSense within Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. This included better performance in addition to new features such as type filtering and showing import items. To learn more, please visit our documentation site at aka.ms slash vsmacdocs or stay tuned for the next video in our series. Thank you.